Okay, so you've been, uh, you know, there's a lot of emphasis, it seems, at this point on, on money. And we're in Virgo season now, so that's all about work. Uh, so that energy is coming in. It seems like you've made a brand new start in something, some bad, a new venture. You seem to have let go of something from the past. It might have been some established emotional situation that you were involved in because you've got eight uh, cups over there and you're walking away from it. So it seems like whatever has been going on, you've let go of that past and you are moving forward or you're moving off on your own, um, you know, your own path now. It seems like you've let go of everything that was holding you back. There was a breakup of a relationship there with that Three of Swords, a breakdown of communication. You walked away from that situation and you're making a brand new start. And it seems like your um, focus now has been on your work work. So, um, you know, weighing your options up, thinking about your finances, thinking about your own emotional security, maybe even looking for a new job or even, uh, you know, changing career paths. But it's all, the focus is all on, on yourself and getting your security back over there. You might be worried a little bit about money there uh, and, uh, you know, how, how to save money. You might be doing a financial review as well at this particular time. It, it feels as though, uh, you know, in the past you've made investments and they haven't quite worked out the way you've wanted it to. Uh, it seems like some kind of offer has come in with that King of Wands energy there. This is a fire energy. Uh, so it could be a business venture that has come in on offer for you uh, and maybe asking you to make an investment um, in that new venture. Um, so some kind of new offer starting up over there. And you, it, it seems like you're, you're considering it because you're looking at it quite carefully, weighing up all your options and deciding whether or not you have uh, you know, the financial stamina to actually start something brand new or even go um, down that route. You've got the Six of Pentacles. So maybe somebody has come to you for some kind of financial backing or has asked you to make a, uh, an investment in whatever it is. With this King of Wands, it looks like somebody has approached you to make some kind of invest investment in something, uh, asked you for um, money, really. Um, if this is not the case, then it might be that, you know, uh, you've needed to go and ask for some financial assistance. Maybe with this Four of Pentacles, you are feeling a bit skint at the moment and, uh, you know, you're actually uh, using up your savings in whatever it is you're doing. Uh, maybe this is the reason why you're actually even considering a new job there. So feeling a little bit uh, low on the finances there um, if you're not investing money. So you've got a lot of options uh, available to you with that Seven of Cups. You're a bit confused about what to do next. You're weighing up everything, looking at it. And this is a card that really uh, counsels that you do some research before you make any big new moves. Because it's it's a bit a big bit confused about where to actually, which basket to put your eggs into, really, with that Seven of uh, Cups. You've got the Four of Wands, so you are trying to establish your uh, security. You might be thinking of even buying a new home. This is also about maybe trying to new venture, signing new contracts. Maybe whatever ventures you've been doing has been successful so far with that Four of Wands. But this could be about signing new contracts. Maybe that's what you're considering at the moment. Um, you've got the Five of Pentacles over here. So you've been in the spotlight. More money has been in the spotlight for you there. And maybe there's a sense of loss uh, or you're feeling uh, you know, as though you don't have sufficient funds as well. Um, and feeling very, very uh, unsupported as well. And maybe a little bit insecure right now with that Five of Pentacles. And your hopes and fears, there's this decision that you have to make. So you're worried about making a decision. It might be about signing new contracts because it is the Two of Swords. Uh, so you're sitting there and carefully considering it. This needs to be a logical decision that you make. You need to do a lot of research before you actually make a big decision financially. Or in any decision that you want to make, it seems that you need to make do some research. Like I said, this could be signing contracts. So make sure you're reading fine print very carefully. Going into the future, you've got the Knight of Cups over there, the Stars, and the uh, Nine of Swords. Nine of Cups is your card, so it's either you making an offer to somebody or somebody making an offer to you. Maybe you're looking for finances to start a new biz business venture, and maybe you're looking for somebody to invest. Uh, you know, this is also a card of investment, that Four of Pentacles. So you could be starting a brand new venture, maybe going off on your own and investing in yourself there with that Seven of Pentacles. Uh, and you have all these options available to you about what you want to do. Uh, so you could be asking somebody for some kind of uh, financial investment so that you can make, uh, you know, start something brand new uh, with this Knight of Cups. You certainly have a new goal, a new idea, uh, and you're, um, you know, you're, this is about pouring out all that negative emotions, pouring out all that negativity and, uh, you know, 
taking all your that you have learnt uh, and being inspired to do something brand new. It's a very uh, a highly um, stressful situation that you're going through at the moment. So you're very anxious about this particular uh, scenario. You seem to be in between phases at the moment. You can't make up your mind about what you want to do. Uh, you've asked maybe for some investment. Um, maybe somebody has made an offer to you as well. Uh, this could be somebody asking you to invest um, in something brand new. And this is causing a lot of anxiety as well. So this is about handling your resources and this is about deciding how you want to invest for the future. And you are at a crossroads right now, it seems. Um, you know, you are going through a financial uh, crunch at the moment. Um, and, you know, it looks like you want to start something new. You want to start off, uh, uh, establishing your security all over again. Um, and make a brand new start, starting a brand new venture, taking that risk. With this uh, Eight of uh, Cups, it seems like you want to go your own way. So maybe you are the one that is asking for investment. Uh, and maybe, you know, you're considering all the options about what, how you can actually get a hold of those funds um, to establish yourself. Um, so you are going through a period where you are very, very anxious. But you've got a really brilliant idea. That star card is showing something brilliant. And it is showing a chance for leadership. It's also showing something that might come out you know, you're trying to uh, maybe branch out and do something international as well with that star card there. So we've got the uh, animal tarot for the um, oracle read. And the first one is the eight of spring. And this is you have been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. While this might feel very stressful, remember to be grateful for the blessings that heaven has sent you. So there's a lot of options available for you, a lot of hard work and a lot of networking. And there might be a lot of travel that is coming up for you. So um, there, is, there are all these options. You've got that seven of cups, which is talking about options. And this eight of spring, which is the eight of rods, it's also talking about being presented with a lot of good opportunities and having to pick one. So do your research. That is very, very important. Renewal is the judgment card. So you are at that crossroads in your life. You're trying to change direction. Um, and it is time to get clarity about your life purpose and make change so that you're in the path most divinely suited to you. F forgive what has gone without judgment and fearlessly embrace what is to come. So this is about reaching that fork in the road, that turning point. Um, and, you know, you have all the facts uh, in your hand really with that judgment card and you just need to make a decision. That decision has to be something unemotional. So uh, do your research. Uh, make sure that you're, you've got a pros and cons list going over there uh, and you know, pick it based on logic rather than emotions. And the High Priestess says it is time to pause and reflect and not to take action. Trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your power of intuition. So there's some missing information that does need to come to light here. You do need to do research because you've got that owl flying uh, in order for you to get transformation. You can see there's a choice coming in over there for you, and it's the beginning of something brand new. So even with a renewal card, there's that choice coming in over there. There's that fork in the roads. There's a decision that needs to be made. But a research is paramount in whatever you want to do. So you need to make a decision based on logic, research, um, you know, be very practical in how you make this big decision about moving or changing direction or changing your path. It is something that is going to be better for you because it's a renewal card. You are being given a second chance to do something and it will be successful uh, because with a judgment card, once you make that decision, it's a generally a successful outcome because you've been given a divine second chance. Um, so think carefully. Try not to stress out too much about it. Um, you know, you're not getting much sleep, it seems. You're very worried about it. And um, do your research before you make any big decisions. So all the best, and thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.